Hey YouTube, Jeremy right here. Today is, let's see, Saturday, April 13, 2024, and it has been 10 days since I shared the tadpole frog tank here, and um, so we kind of missed week six. This is week seven. That's just what it is, whatever. So let's get a look in here. Sorry, I'm shooting with an older device, so the video quality may be down a little bit. I'm not entirely sure. We'll just have to see on playback. But again, looking in here, the morphology, not much different. So 10 days since the last viewing, we're seven weeks in since the establishment of this tank. And um, yeah, it seems like we're having a hard time catching the, the uh, focal point actually on these tadpoles. But you can kind of get a view of what's going on there. I'm also shooting at a different time of day than I normally do. I generally shoot kind of early in the day, and right now it's it's really late in the day. I actually had to click the lighting back on. It had already turned off for the day, so it's oh, late in the day, and I'm slipping. So looking in here, uh, there are a few changes. I've added some native plants. Uh, this is a persicaria that's uh, hanging out of the front. And I was actually fortunate enough to be, have been gifted that by one of our local um, University of Arkansas um, plant guys. And so he, close friend of mine, but this was collected um, from the wild with permit and uh, I'm just fortunate enough to have been gifted this and kind of charged with the task of trying to keep it alive so along with some of the other things uh, this is you know after all a, a biology experiment that's for the public so looking back down um, what I'm now noticing is some actual growth on these guys. I'm seeing more swimming. I'm still not feeding them. I haven't added like any food in here in weeks. They're just living off of what is in this environment. So what they're actually eating, like honestly, I couldn't tell you. I just couldn't tell you. They just eat stuff. I have noticed that they're what I thought was an algae blob is smaller. Like I tried to put plenty of, oh, check that out. So that was kind of interesting, wasn't it? So we had a major lighting change. So that was kind of like the iris on the uh, camera, so to speak, opened up. But looking in here, it's like there's plenty of plant matter for them to eat. I probably need to start looking into what they will be changing over, like what are their, their dietary needs after about week seven? Like, I don't actually know. So again, I'm, I'm trying not to look this information up, but just because I wanted to just look at it and learn from it. But at the same time, there's a really strong temptation to look it up because I don't want to not, you know, I don't want to fail them, right? These are these are my, my little homies. They've been they've been bobbing and floating and wiggling back and forth in this tank since they were, um, you know, since they hatched. They, you know, soft critters like amphibians don't really hatch out of their eggs. They more like emerge from them. But you know what I mean. They've been with me for quite a while now. Seven weeks. We're going on approaching the two month mark. And I will admit, I didn't think it took frogs this long to go from tadpole to frog. And something I'm really interested in also is looking into the pond area where my son collected these eggs at my dad's place. Again, private property. Um, and we're going to see... How the wild frogs are doing in their development process the ones that were essentially laid the eggs that were laid at the same time as these because we only took a small percentage of the eggs that were there and how many of them 
They're still around. How big are those tadpoles? Are their numbers doing as well as the ones that were here in captivity? Or have they been predated more? Like, I just don't know. Really don't know. So I'm hoping to go back and uh, just catch a glimpse of them shortly. But for now, I guess in short, what I will say is um, I have started doing water changes because the nitrate level was, was rising quite a bit. Like uh, a week ago, I did a test, 50 ppm. So I immediately did a fairly large water change. And again, today, I did a fairly large water change. The tadpoles themselves seem to be growing lengthwise. They're over a centimeter now. And that's really what I've noticed. So for now, 